KMI. Well, I stopped to see what the temperature was. Check it out. 30 degrees. So this will be my first hunt this year below freezing. Let's go metal detecting. Hey guys, Keithy Six here, metal detecting in Alaska. It's early Sunday morning here in Fairbanks, and we had a frost last night. First frost of the year. You can see it on the grass. I think I'm going to go over to this big volleyball court. Let me see. There's one, two, three, four volleyball courts here. I love hitting this area because you never know what you're going to find. It's the best thing about metal detecting. I'm gonna see how hard the sand is and I might use my homemade scoop today. Oh, it's pretty soft. I think I'll use it. And I got my scoop. Check out that sunrise behind me there. That's another big school right there. All right, let's get ground balance and get started. I'm using my uh, Fisher F75 again today, and I'm in all metal mode. I like using that, it's kind of cool. All right, let's get started. Hey, first target. Guess what, guys? It's a nickel! First target is a nickel. Good sign. All right, so let's keep looking. Well, I got these uh, little magnets in the bottom of this thing and it's hard to pull things out sometimes. Second target, little hairpin. Well, next target, a big wad of aluminum. Well, getting a real strong target here. Let's see what we got. I think I see it. Ah, of course. Zidreted bottle cap. One thing I hate about this is I'm gonna get all the sand in my pouch and in my shoes. Well, next target's an old rusted hair clip. Well, next target, some kind of little button or something. Well, next target, another hairpin. All right, I got it. This put off a heck of a signal. Oh!
Look what's in the scoop, guys. Do you see that? It's a ring. Oh, wow, look at this. It looks gold. And it's got some stones. Wow, this is exciting. Ooh, hear the train. Oh, snap, guys, it's 10K! I'm looking at you guys through the first ring of today. I love doing these volleyball courts. I always have good luck. Mwah. It's like it was right under the net too. Somebody probably spiking a ball or... You always gotta take your jewelry off when you're playing volleyball. Wow. That is sweet. Well, just had another target. Looks like I found a little earring. So sweet, maybe there's more jewelry here. Well, another target, another little earring. That's a good sign. All right, let's keep looking. I'm getting a really high signal here. Let's see what this is. All right, I missed it. All right, I got it. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it. Mr. Pull Tab. Hey, we found him. I knew he was gonna be here somewhere. He's always hanging around. He's getting a good signal, that's why. Some big money. All right, hopefully we'll find a lot more of these. So I see a little bit of gold shining through the... Is it anything or is it just aluminum foil that's gold? Ah. Uh, here, hanging up like a quarter. Missing it big time. More big money. Another piece of jewelry, some kind of earring. That sure looks gold. Working my way back to the vehicle. Almost done here. Well, the last target of the day, a rusty screw. So let's get that off the volleyball court. Well, I guess that's going to do it for me today. Let's go home, get our fingers warm.
get something to eat, get some coffee, and uh, get ready for the roundup. Check out this uh, ring I found and a couple of these earrings. Well guys, welcome to the roundup. Here's everything I found today on that volleyball court hunt. I always have pretty good luck there. Of course, you always find a lot of trash. Look at all the aluminum foil I dug up. And some pieces of wire, some screws, a couple bottle caps, some hair pins. Usually I find a lot of coins. One time I went there and found over 400 coins. I think somebody just threw all kinds of coins down for me to find keep me busy so anyways this time I found three pennies two nickels one dime and two quarters so hey at least that's a few coins now I found this cheap little earring it's nothing special I thought this might be silver it has no rust but it's just really tarnished now this little earring here I didn't notice it but it has a little diamond there on the front so right there on the side I was hoping it was going to say something K but it actually says 925 so I think this is like gold plated silver but I checked the diamond and it is not real I have this little diamond tester here that I've always used and it works pretty good and it says that those diamonds are not real so then the best thing I found today was this ring here look at the diamonds in the front of that I was really hoping that those were real but I checked those diamonds and they are not real and it does say 10k but on the other side it does say CZ so I'm I'm assuming that's cubic zirconia so fake diamonds but real gold so sweet still a pretty good find Well, it's getting a little chillier here, so pretty soon I'll have to be winterizing my metal detector, and I'll show you guys how I do that. All right, guys, until next time, everybody out there have good luck and happy hunting, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe, everybody. It's a crazy world out there.